inside here, can you see I've got four yellow cones just here, making a square, yeah? Within those four yellow cones, you can see that, yeah? Them yellow discs. We're going to have a ball each. It's going to work nice and simple first to get warm, just on your skills. So what we need to do first is moving the ball around. We all come inside here. You see the four yellow cones, yeah? So just inside this square. Don't need to go anywhere else. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So what we need to do first, then lots of touches just on the inside. Forwards, backwards, sideways, all on the inside, yeah? Off we go. Off we go. More touches you get, the better it is for you guys. Can't emphasise that enough. More touches of the ball, the better for you. You can get 100 more touches than your mate in this session, and that's better for you, isn't it, yeah? This time, it's going to be using the underneath of my foot, yeah? So nice and easy, it's going to be bouncing the ball and go forwards, backwards, and go to the side, dragging the ball, but just using the sole of my foot. Off we go. Loads of touches. Try the different movements, so it's forwards, backwards and sideways if we can. Vary it up a bit. That's better, Darry. Commentator's curse. Keep it going. Come on, there's that. Keep it going. Good. Good. Okay, stop there. Right. Yes, Luke. All I'm going to do this time, as I dribble around, I'm going to stop the ball with my knee. And then I'm going to change direction. I might stop with my left knee, then I'm going to change direction and come out of there. Staying inside the square. Off you go. So a little knee stop, and just think about where the spaces are now. Can you see the spaces? Can you then dribble into that space? The first part of the warm-up, we had um, a 10 by 10 square, which was just lots of ball manipulation, so different skills in there, the, the scissors, the step-overs. And during the session, we actually brought in to the players as well, so, so they already start thinking about creating space. So while they're moving around with the ball, can they create space for themselves? And also, can they work away from, from their partner to, to you know, give them some space as well? St. Aaron's there, by doing my scissors there, I've gone and created some space myself over here. It may be if I see Joseph dribbling towards me, I might need to just change direction and move away from Joseph, because what have I done now in there? I've created space for my partner as well, yeah? And that happens in the game, doesn't it? Sometimes you've got to move to create space for your teammate as well as yourself. Off you go. You want to get a double scissors in? I don't mind working your right, your left foot, your choice. So right away, right from the start, they're, they're starting to get good habits regarding the topic of obviously creating space.